In this video, I will show you the differences between a major in computer science and mathematics, and which can make for the better major overall. According to Payscale, the average salary of someone with a bachelor's degree in computer science is $85,000. This makes computer science one of the best paying degrees that are currently available. Many of the alternative degrees to computer science will also have high average salaries. However, not only is computer science one of the best paying degrees, but it also puts you in a good position with just a bachelor's degree. On the other hand, many of the alternatives require a master's degree to be competitive when seeking a job. There are many different types of jobs that a computer science degree can open you up to. They can include software engineer, database administrator, data scientist, machine learning engineer, application developer, and a web developer. Most computer science majors will end up taking jobs as a software engineer, which is one of the highest rated jobs currently available. When interviewing for these roles, you will be tested mainly on data structures and algorithms, which you will learn about during your time in the major. It is important to make sure to be comfortable with data structures and algorithms since they are a key part of the software engineer interview process. Data science and machine learning are also becoming popular among computer science majors. If you want to get a job in data science or machine learning, it would help to take classes in data analysis and machine learning, to learn Python programming and to complete data science or machine learning projects. A computer science degree combined with classes relevant to data science or machine learning should put you in a good position upon graduating. You might find that your university does not offer classes related to data science or machine learning. In that case, it would help to self-study them using websites such as Coursera, edX, FreeCodeCamp, which now has a data science section, and Udemy. Since data science and machine learning are rapidly evolving, you should expect to have to self-study a lot regardless. Generally, computer science is considered as being one of the easier STEM majors, and most people would agree that it is easier than a math major. With that being said, the major will require a lot of work at times, especially once you are done with your freshman year. Some classes you can expect to take in computer science can include Introduction to Programming, Data Structures and Algorithms, Assembly Language, Databases, computer architecture, and computer networks. You can also expect to take mathematics classes, including linear algebra, discrete math, and calculus. Some classes you might have the choice of taking can also include machine learning, artificial intelligence, computer graphics, and computer networks. Before starting the major, it would help to consider what you would like to do with the degree this is so that you are able to optimise your classes according to what you hope to achieve with the degree. If your goal is to get into data science or machine learning type roles, it would be very important to make sure to take classes related to machine learning, to do machine learning projects, and to take classes in data analysis and to take some statistics classes. Data science and machine learning jobs have strong predicted job growth, so taking classes related to data science and machine learning should put you in a good position upon graduation. The core computer science classes should also be enough to qualify you for software engineering roles. Another important thing to consider is that computer science is not purely focused on programming. Instead, computer science will focus on things such as how to write computer code optimally so that computer programs can run efficiently and at scale. I have another video on my channel talking about whether or not a computer science degree specifically is worth it and how to make the most of the major. The Bureau of Labour Statistics predicts that the demand for mathematicians will rise by 33% by 2029. This is mainly due to the surge in data that companies have been receiving in recent years that they need people with mathematical and statistical skills to make sense of. According to Payscale, the average pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in mathematics is $77,000.
since mathematics is used in many different fields, a math degree should open you up to many different job opportunities. According to Payscale, the most common jobs people report having with a math degree are software engineer, data analyst, data scientist, math teacher, actuary, financial analyst and a data engineer. However, a math degree is a somewhat general degree that is not specific to a certain type of job in the way something such as computer science is to software engineering. If you do end up choosing a math major, this means that you should take courses from the field that you want to enter, do summer internships, and to complete projects related to that field as well, in order to be competitive when seeking a job. It also means that alternative majors such as computer science or the different engineering degrees are likely to give you an easier time when looking for a job after graduating. This is also shown in the data, since computer science and engineering both report having higher average pay than mathematics. Many math majors go into software engineering after graduation. If you want to qualify for software engineering jobs with a math degree, it would help to make sure to take a data structures and algorithms class since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. It would also help to try to get some internships as a software engineer while in college and to complete software engineering projects such as a web app as an undergrad. The three most common reported jobs for people with a math degree are software engineer, data analyst and data scientist according to the rankings on Payscale. All three of them involve the use of programming, so it would help to make sure to learn to program regardless. Currently, data science and machine learning are becoming popular career paths among math majors. A math major can prepare you well for data science and machine learning jobs, depending on the classes that you take. To qualify for data science jobs, it would help to make sure to learn Python programming, data analysis using the Pandas library, machine learning, to complete data science projects as an undergrad and to get data science internships. As a math major, you will be taking courses primarily from mathematics. However, you will also have the opportunity to take classes from computer science, physics and statistics. Some classes you can expect to take in your freshman and early sophomore years include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra, discrete math, Introduction to Computer Science and Introduction to Physics. In your junior and senior years, you can expect to take advanced math classes, including differential equations, abstract algebra, real analysis, graph theory, complex analysis, topology and number theory. Math is generally considered as being one of the hardest majors available. It becomes especially hard in your junior and senior years since most of your classes will be proof-based, which tend to be much harder than the more computational classes. Math can be a very employable major when it is combined with a more applied minor. This is because the math taught in a math major is generally useful, but you need to learn specialised knowledge in order to be able to apply it to specific use cases. A good combination would be to major in mathematics and to minor in computer science and to take classes related to machine learning and data science, or at least to self-study data science and machine learning. Doing this would open you up to roles such as data scientist, machine learning engineer, data analyst, and software engineer. Majoring in computer science and minoring in mathematics would also be a good combination. I have another video on my channel talking about whether or not a math degree specifically is worth it and how to make the most of the major. The key advantage that a computer science degree has over a math degree is that it is a very employable degree by itself. This is because the degree will qualify you for software engineering roles which are very popular right now and well paid, whereas a math degree needs to be combined with something more applied in order to make it as employable as a computer science degree. In addition, a computer science degree is generally considered as an easier degree than mathematics. This means that you will have more spare time as a computer science major to focus on things such as applying for internships, jobs,
doing research and completing projects to help improve your resume. Also, most computer science degrees will require many math classes, including linear algebra, discrete math and calculus. These classes are usually enough for most mathematical job roles, including data scientists, in terms of the math that is required. Furthermore, the advanced proof-heavy math classes are very different to the more computational classes you will have taken in high school. If you have not taken a proof-based math class before, it is very possible that you will find that you don't actually like the advanced math classes. There are some reasons why a math major can be a good major. Generally, doing well in higher level math classes will help you when applying to graduate school for things such as statistics and machine learning. A math degree is also widely useful and can be applied to many different disciplines. Also, a math degree combined with computer science classes as well as classes related to data science and machine learning would also be a very employable degree. However, a math degree by itself can be difficult to find jobs with, especially if you do not learn much programming during your time in the major. If you do decide to major in mathematics, I would strongly recommend that you at least minor in computer science and make sure to take a class in data structures and algorithms. Doing so will help you immensely when applying to jobs. Also, it would help to make sure that you learn programming and complete projects related to the field that you want to enter. It would also help to read an introduction to proofs book or to watch a YouTube playlist on proofs to see if proof-based mathematics is something you are actually interested in.